Hey guys, I'm starting the vlog a little bit later than I usually would. It's the afternoon, Delilah's at the Childminders. I thought I wasn't going to try and film this morning because it's always pretty manic try trying to get Delilah sorted before rushing to the Childminders. And then I've just been at home doing emails, doing some editing for the last Vlogtober that's going up tonight. Just doing general bits and bobs that I needed to get done. But I've got a couple of hours before I need to go pick Delilah up. I haven't got anything major I need to do now. I've done pretty much everything apart from um, sorting the thumbnail and uploading um, the last Vlogtober, which I can do later on tonight. But what I can't do later on tonight is organise Delilah's clothes. I have been wanting to do this for so long. I have had these two boxes here sat in my room for ages. Because like I've mentioned a couple of times before, I, I was waiting to film a haul and... I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna wait until next year when I've managed to find a good balance between this channel and my other channel. I'm very much looking forward to clearing out all the clothes that Delilah no longer fits into from her chest of drawers that are over here and pop in her new stuff that are in these boxes in there. I have bin bags here because I'm going to separate them into two piles. I'm going to do one pile for keepsake stuff, so any really lovely stuff that I can't bring myself to get rid of and stuff that's really sentimental I'm going to keep. I'm going to try not to make the pile too big <laughs> but that's going to be hard. And then another pile to give away. I'm not going to sell her baby clothes. A lot of you have asked me if I'm going to sell anything on my Depop. I don't think there's any point. I might give maybe one bag of stuff to charity, but all the stuff that I'm gonna give away, I want to give to a really good cause. I want to give to a women's shelter or something similar. I need to do a bit of research into some um, local charities that help um, women and children out. Um, I'd love to donate lots of lovely clothes to mums that really need it like mums that cannot afford anything i haven't got a huge amount of time to really sort through stuff so i'm just going to put them in the bin bag put them in the cupboard and sort them out another time i'm really looking forward to finally organizing delilah's cupboards because they were so organized for months and months um, and it's only really the last few months that it's just gotten a little bit chaotic and uh <laughs> you'll see what i mean in here uh, we have all of delilah's stuff just stuffed in here they used to be so neat and people told me that as soon as delilah was born this wouldn't be neat everyone laughed at me and it stayed neat for probably the first nine months of her life and the only reason it's gotten like this is because i haven't had time to sort through all the old stuff that no longer fits her and as you can see down here bless her she was trying to tidy up her uh, shoes the other day and she opened the cupboard and put these in and shut them because she was helping me tidy up so yeah definitely I need to take these out because they just don't belong in there. You see, these probably still fit her, these little mango shoes, but they don't just stay on. And obviously she's walking now, so little pram shoes are no good. Do you guys remember these that I got um, Delilah in Brighton when I was, um, I think... Oh, I think it was when I was with Marcia. I got these and I got these before Delilah was even born. I was like 12 weeks pregnant or something. Bought these in Brighton. These are still too big for her. But I can't wait for her to um, wear these uh, for slippers. So yeah, guys, I've just got this mammoth task of just going through all of this stuff. Bit of a different start to the vlog. Usually it's the morning and Delilah's with me. And you see us go about our, our whole daily shenanigans. But I thought, you know what, I just... I'll just start the I'll just start the vlog now and do something a little bit different. I know you guys sort of like me doing organisational things in my videos and I get it. I find it really therapeutic to watch as well. Any tips on how to fold bigger clothes would be greatly appreciated because with Delilah's like old baby grows and things, they were so tiny that I just sort of rolled them up and then stacked them next to each other so you could see them all. But now she's much bigger, her clothes are bigger and you can't really roll things up anymore but i want to have a way i'll show you as you can see here i used to kind of fold things up or roll things up and stack them in line so i could actually see everything that was in her wardrobe rather than stacking them like this and then not being able to see what options you have for her outfit that day if that makes sense i guess i could probably do it like this it will just take up more room and then if you guys have any better suggestions then i can always um always change them let's get these cleared and put into piles of to keep and to give away i've killed another bloody plant in here it's because we have the blackout blind up half the time so there's never any sunlight in here and this is the second plant that i have killed and that has just sat here dead for 
the last month or so. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to just get a fake plant for in here. Let's move this camera a little bit. This looks so diddy and this is still nine to 12 months, but it just looks tiny. Oh. Look at this diddy sock! Look how diddy that is! <laughs> this is one of my favourite tops to pop in into Zara. I loved this little one. She had this in two sizes, that's how much I loved it. Um, but yeah, oh, it's so tiny. is all the stuff that no longer fits her I'm now going to separate the stuff that I want to keep and give away I appreciate that this is a ridiculous amount of clothes what the hell <laughs> saying that this is so many different age groups like this is stuff that was from like six months onwards and yeah I don't know this is just a lot of it is just like basics like baby grows and vests and things but you know what this mama likes to buy clothes I've had a couple of family members say oh you know keep lots of baby grows and stuff if they're in good condition because you might you know you might decide to have another one at some point but i don't know like part of me is just like is there really any point in hanging on to it if you know if i'm like not certain that we're gonna have another one like we're quite happy as just like a family of three i can even begin to imagine what it would be like having a toddler and a newborn and trying to do all my work on top of that like it's hard enough with delilah i guess that's uh many of you guys is Quest ans uh, questions answered um because i get asked that on a regular basis and no we're not planning another one anytime soon um it's quite nice just being a being just us three i have about about 15 minutes until i need to get to lila so really i just need to get this stuff half sort sort of sorted and then just get this stuff popped into here that wasn't too bad um i did think that was going to be a much bigger task than it was <laughs> got to decide whether I'm gonna keep all of these partitions in these are from Ikea a lot of you have asked me about these and they're just Ikea um, but they were fab when um, Delilah's clothes were so small that I needed some sort of separation I'm thinking these ones are still great for socks and tights I think I'm gonna keep these in see how we go I really don't have the time to like overthink this so I may end up switching everything around again in here we have like this whole big drawer here so I guess I can use this for like jumpers so i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to do this but i only have about half an hour so i just need to at least just get these clothes and the stuff in that box in here i think i'm still going to put bodies in I'm gonna put bodies in here because she doesn't have like a huge amount of bodies now. This used to be t-shirts, this used to be like vests and bodies. I don't know. I feel like her t-shirts need to be folded properly now if if not actually hung up. Um, but when I hang things up, I forget about them. So uh, we will see. What I'm gonna do for now is any of like the patterned bodies, I'm gonna pop here so I can see them all. These ones are all the same, so I'm just gonna pile them up so I don't need to see what they all look like. I think that's my plan for now. I'm gonna put leggings in 
here still because this is where I've always put her leggings again because this is something that I can sort of fold up like this I am going to you can't really see much from there can you um I'm just gonna slot them in like this so I can actually see which which leggings are what much easier when everything just folded up into here okay just gonna put jumpers in here for now just pop dungarees there for now i've got this adorable little jumper from mother care um let's pop that there that's a couple of piles so i can see everything start getting some of this stuff out So this is this is all the bits and bobs that I got her um, in the video that I did a haul. If you want to see it all, then um, it will be in Vlogtober. I think it was Vlogtober 14. But yeah, she has like proper trousers now. So I'm just going to fold them like I do mine. Fold mine like that. And then um, I guess I could pop them in this, this little one here. So you've got leggings and trousers together. cardigans uh, this one's huge it's so sweet though it still doesn't fit her it's still quite big actually i've not tried it on her recently but when she first put this on it was humongous cardigans i usually just hang up on her um rail shelf hanger thingy <laughs> I'm about to head out and get Delilah from the Childminders. I have gotten this far with <laughs> with everything. I feel like I always have to say this, but excuse the horrible black line that's hanging off the window. But yeah, I've gotten most of her stuff in there. I just need to literally just put like the rest of these in. Here's to hoping Doug comes back a little bit earlier from work today so that I can sort this out before um, Delilah goes to bed. And then we just have these bags that I need to find room to stuff into a wardrobe. Today's jumper, which I just think is so funky, I love it. It looks like it's been handmade by someone's grandma um, and it's one of those things that used to be like really uncool but like now it's like kind of cool to just wear like garish jumpers like this. I love it. I got this on ASOS but I'd been eyeing it up on Monkey for ages and then ASOS had that little um, one day uh 20% off everything they had recently started stocking this newer monkey jumper and i thought well you know what i was gonna get it anyway let's get it when it's on 20% off let's go get delilah I made a conscious effort to leave my keys on the fireplace from now on because some of you may have noticed that i went through a bit of a stage of constantly misplacing my keys and i actually lost this pair for about two weeks i found them in an old coat pocket so i had been using these two spare ones so yes they stay on here and i know where they are every day now Whilst we're in town, I've got to return this rug. I told you about this in another vlog, but I got two different rugs for our bedroom and kept one because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I'm going to return this and also return the one item that I got from Anthropology. It was like a little spoon holder thing, um, so I don't have to keep putting like dirty spoons on my side. But it broke on the way here, so I'm just going to send that back. Right, let's go. Hi, Dorothea. <laughs> Did you have a nice day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, are you having some pumpkin though for snack? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi, can I just get through for posters? Just need to go get dinner for tonight and then head to soft play. Head, head to soft play for a little bit. I always like to do something um, with Delilah after the childminders, be it go to the park, go to soft play, just so we can spend a bit of time together. We need to get you some fruit, don't we? Should we get you some strawberries? There you go. Do you hold those? Good girl. I swear everyone must think I just lump my shopping on her half the time. But she just likes to hold everything. Raspberries? I'm just about to head to soft play for 10 minutes before heading home. And <laughs> Delilah was getting all excited. She was like flapping her legs around. 
update for the Peppa Pig house. It's your favourite, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Do you want mummy to open it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Although all the bits are over there. Take your shoes off. One. One shoe. Oh my goodness. That was a big bird, pardon you. Really? Two shoes. One sock. Off. So back home after a brisk walk back, I realised that yesterday when we were walking home in the dark, um, that it was like the first time that she's really been like awake and like quite an older, well I say older baby, a toddler, sort of out and about whilst it's dark because obviously during the summer it would have been really late by the time it was dark so she was always tucked up in bed and then last winter she did sort of go out and about in the dark but she was like really little and she didn't have a proper bedtime or anything it must be like really strange for her being in the pram when it's pitch black oh but i, I cannot tell you how like excited i am for autumn winter this year like i've i've always loved it but i swear like every year i just love it more and more and i'm actually really like, i keep feeling really sad at the thought of autumn being over because it is just such a beautiful time of year as repetitive as it is this is real life and we're going to have a play do a puzzle and then um and i'm gonna do dinner for delilah i don't know where she's going she can go find her are you waiting for daddy yeah daddy will be home soon <laughs> yeah let's get the dinner bits I thought I'd do a little stir fry because Doug and I are going to have stir fry later. So I thought. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I would do a um, a smaller version for Delilah. I'm going to do um, corn chicken pieces. So they're just like a vegetarian um, chicken substitute. Got some little rainbow carrots. Got some baby sweet corn. She loves baby sweet corn. You're being so noisy. <laughs> Can you not take the whole drawer out, please, darling? Yes, yeah, some baby sweet corn, some mange too, some petit pois, and I'm going to do some egg noodles. Daddy's home. Uh -huh. Hi, Daddy. There you go. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. <laughs> That's carrot, you like carrot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Is it going to be one of those meal times? Not quite sure. whilst Delilah has her bath, I need to finish up what I started earlier. There we go, it's, it's not perfect, but it'll do all of this is fine it's just the as you know the t-shirt and dress situation and then 
This is dresses, jumpers, um, and dungarees and play suits. Uh, some of them are the next age group up. And again, here, leggings, a couple of like comfy play suits. Um, these are her like little comfy set from Bodum. Trousers, and again, dungarees, because couldn't fit them all in here. It doesn't matter that they're not all on the side, because I can sort of see them all from here. Now her clothes are a bit bigger. And this drawer has always been towels, sleeping bag, but that's gonna stay the same. Hey, do you have a nice bath? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is... My aim before dinner is to get the thumbnail complete, ready to upload the vlog tonight. So that once I have dinner, I don't have too much to worry about. I just need to make a plan really for the next couple of weeks worth of vlogs because I've had a lot of work come in all at once. I need to organise things in my head, think when I'm going to film stuff, think um, how I can put like non-sponsored stuff in between sponsored stuff otherwise there's going to be like three sponsored things I'll put in a row or, or something like that which you know I can't help like I've um, but I have tried my best to ask the brands if they can like budge on live dates and things like that so that I can try and spread them out as much as possible this month but obviously it's a lead up to Christmas and lots of brands are just wanting to do work so it's really good and I know that most of my followers would be super happy that I've um you know that I'm getting the chance to do all this cool work and there'll always be there'll always be someone um that's not happy with whatever you do me personally I don't feel like my sponsored content is is like pushy or like fake or anything I always work with brands I like and I always think I come across genuine just because I am being like genuine I'm not like faking like in a product or a brand or anything but it's funny because I thought oh vlogtober's over I'll get to breathe a little bit well I was wrong because all, like, all of a sudden all this work came in and I was like this is amazing but oh my god I'm trying not to freak out right now there's so much to do but yeah anyway I should probably stop talking so I'm probably gonna wake Delilah up I just need to finish um doing the thumbnail for vlogtober 15. I have just spent the last hour, hour and a half maybe, planning the next three weeks of content. I'm happy that it's all down on paper and it's all out of my head because I don't know about you guys, but if I'm thinking about something and I'm trying not to remember and I'm trying not to like forget details, I struggle to sleep. Like I know I would have gone to bed tonight and just laid there like thinking about stuff in my head and not gone to sleep properly. Yeah, I'm glad it's all organised and down on paper. I crossed off everything on my to-do list for today, which is a good feeling. 10.30 now, so I should probably get myself ready for bed and go to sleep. I tell you what guys, I think this jumper has quickly become one of my favourites. I love it. I wanted to end the vlog in the bedroom, but Doug's gone to bed, so I should probably not wake him. I don't know how today's vlog's gonna go today. I, I haven't vlogged like I usually do, so I reckon this will be a normal sized vlog, let's say under 20 minutes maybe, <laughs> who knows. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed organising Delilah's clothes with me. Anyway, bye. Just get me makeup off.